Anyway, I'm gonna clean my slide. So, uh, I don't know if you noticed, it's kinda scratchy. Uh, it's kinda slow. I've moved back to my Shire slide, which is a B62N, I think. It's got the nickel crook. Uh, single bore. I've taken off the slide lock. I've heard people say that makes a big difference, and for some reason, it really does. At least in my experience, I took it off last night when I was practicing. I was like, "What happened?" It's like a different instrument. I. It's probably just because of the how I was practicing and stuff, but I don't care. I'm gonna leave it off for the moment. It's not like I really need it. Um. But anyway, I'm gonna go over how I clean my slide. It's pretty simple, and this is in, as I say, on my script. This is in many other places. Edwards has a video. There's a video of some really famous jazz player doing pretty much the same thing. <sighs> okay, so we start with the inners here. Get a rag. I get um, rags from Ace Hardware. They're just like t-shirt pieces basically cut up. Um, really simple. And you basically just want to wipe off all the excess moisture and grossness and stuff. And once you get farther on the slide, make sure you're gripping the tube that you're working on so you're not stressing it at all. Get everything off there. It's okay to use a lot of pressure. And then move to the other one. Try not to use the same place on the rag so you don't know, just like spreading stuff around. Get all that nastiness off of there. And then put this down. Hopefully so it's not touching anything hard. And then hopefully you have a cleaning rod. I have a cleaning rod. And then you have some cheesecloth, which you can also get a uh, Ace Hardware. It just comes in like these long, it comes like bundled up, but you just unroll it and you get a certain amount of length. Um, I can never remember how long these are supposed to be. I keep cutting them too short. Don't cut them too short. Basically just feed a little bit through the top of your cleaning rod, fold it over, and then slowly, excuse me, twirl this around until you got a little bit to grab at the bottom and get your pinky through it. Then you grab your outers, which I put down. And then you want to make sure your thumb is going to hit this before the end of your cleaning rod hits the crook. Because if you clean too hard, you're going to put a hole in your end of your crook or a big dent. So that's right here. Put it in, and just go to town. Use a lot of force, a lot of pressure. Um, it might seem like you're damaging it or something. Just make sure your cleaning rod isn't scraping the inside. It can do that if you don't have enough cheesecloth or if it's like moved out of the way. Ow. You can also pinch your finger in here. Okay. That one's probably good. Yeah, got some green stuff. Do this to both sides. And this method, um, I don't know how many people use this. I don't use any water when I do this. This method, like, literally can fix slides. Um, when I was at UCLA, I was uh, playing some members' horns, and man, they were just not good slide-wise. And I did this to, a, like, four or five, and it just, <clears throat> boom, now they had good slides. Clean your slide. I do this once a week or so. And I basically just don't put anything on it in between cleanings. Because the Yamaha stuff that I use lasts quite some time. Okay, so it's clean, it's dry, there's nothing on it. Put it together nice and carefully, you don't want to scrape it up too much. And then I use Yamaha stuff. Make sure, um, before you put this on, shake it up and let it sit for a minute or so. Because the contents will separate but if you shake it right before you put it on, you get just like foam, and that doesn't do you any good. And then I put a nice line on the entire slide, like so, and that always means some comes out, gets everywhere. Whew. And I take each side off, spread it around. Oops. No big. Don't dent your slides doing this. Take each slide off. There we go. 
Boom. Now you got a clean, fast slide. Awesome. Blood, any extra Yamaha stuff you have in there, whatever you're using. Boom. Clean slide. That's how you do it. Um, you don't really need to use water. You don't need to like put this in a bathtub uh, more than like every couple months, maybe, if that. Uh, the one thing you want to check is take the inners out and look down your lead pipe and if you see a bunch of grodies and you can like barely see the other side that's when you want to clean it out and for that I just uh, put it in a bathtub with a little bit of like dish soap and I let it soak for a while um, if the water's too hot your lacquer will flake off depending on the lacquer that doesn't matter to me I, got, I don't care about lacquer but it might matter to you and uh, I get a snake and I just snake it out um, the crook can sometimes be a problem, but you can also use a snake for that. I have another cleaning apparatus that I got from my teacher that works pretty well too. Um, but you really don't need to use like a bath and water that often to clean out your horn. Because the soap that you use is probably no better for you to like inhale than um, like bacteria and whatnot. But if you do get sick, clean your horn out because the virus slash bacteria that made you sick can just kind of chill on your trombone and then come back when you become non-immune after a while. I got norovirus a few years ago, two years ago, one year ago, it was just one year ago, um, when I was playing a musical in Teton and uh, it basically just makes you evacuate from every end for like three days and it is the worst and I had to play one show while I was sick and so right after the show was over, I went and cleaned my horn out and didn't touch it um, for like three more days. And you just want to make sure that nothing's left in it that's going to make you sick again. Colds, uh, chest uh, infections, all that kind of stuff. Just make sure you clean the horn out, don't play it while you're sick, um, come back to it when you're not sick. Anyway, that's the uh, weekly for this week. Um, give me suggestions. I want to know what you guys want to know. Um, if nothing else, I'll come up with something. I was going to talk about range, high range, high range and low range after the previous weeks. So, alright. See you, YouTube.